All right, uh, so just before the UVs, I think I better add a few more segments uh, so that um, I can have enough resolution to work with when I get into Madbox. So I'll just add quite a number, just around. So ring that and uh, connect. Oh, not too much, just once. I need one connection. So get this other side and do the same. Um, just ring and connect now. Ring and connect. So there I think those are, are enough. So I better add on this side also. Ring and connect. And I think here I need several. So uh, maybe up there. Connect that. And also maybe here just ring and connect. So those ones are enough and uh, maybe on this area here, I think along this, need one more, so that when we go to Madbox I can have an easier time sculpting. But don't put too many, uh, don't put too many, so ring that and connect, and, uh, this one and this one also, I think I should just get all of them, and ring and connect, so that's okay. So this area here, ring and I think I connect around two, that's, that's okay, yeah that's fine, and uh, let me see, I've been here I need several more right in here so that I can be able to pull some of these down, so speak these and this, ring and Better connect once, that's okay. So, so far that's fine, but um, some of these areas also need, well, I think I'm putting too many, but one each, maybe one there, maybe one over here. Like that, so that I can sculpt that even better soon. These, these, and these come in there and just connect. And uh, yeah. So I think that's good enough. So now I need to start cutting off the UVs. First of all, I have to give it a UV unwrap modifier. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me first get rid of this smooth for now, for now. And then I just come in here and put a UV map, uh, UVW or UV unwrap right there. Now with the UV unwrap, I'm going to create a few seams, especially for this area over here. Okay. So let me save this one. Um, So I need to come in here, come to the UV, the unwrap UV, and I get edges, and I need to select some of these edges. Um, I need to check on which ones am I selecting. So yeah, those ones are okay, and uh, I think up here we're going to cut it through this area uh, right there. So we need to cut through this. Uh, this one here and also in here well there's an easier way of doing this but let me just select them one by one all through like that and even down here um, yeah, I think this is going to be a bit tricky especially in here because here now I need to pick all these uh, nice edges like that. So let me do that and select that and that. There's another one in here, and I think there should be another one in here somewhere. So let me do that so that I know that uh, there is one hiding in here somewhere. So this one here. So. 
hold control, select that one, yes, now we're okay. So now I can come in and select these others. Other ones. And uh, these ones here now. So I think we've done a good job, but in here we need to cut another seam where we are going to be able to. The one in the middle here is middle line here, so I'm just going to use that, 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 and down here. So we're going to use that to unwrap and uh, down here. So we're going to use that to totally unwrap that. So now we create a seam using this one here. Create uh, convert edge selection to seam. So now we are ready to do it. So come to polygon, pick this polygon over here, then come down, click on this one here, it selects up to the edge extends over there. And then I'll use a pelt map, click on that, and this is what you get, and just start pelt. That's what you get, commit. move these out all the way somewhere there then this other one also I think I'm just going to pelt it so selected just pelt uh, start pelt and um, I won't do so much with it I'll just leave it as is and I'll just commit now pick these two and uh, pack them I'll just pack custom but I need to straighten some of this just these ones maybe uh, come select that and maybe get it straight over here um, somewhere there then this one also I think I better bring it somewhere maybe here and just straighten it maybe something like that oh. okay so now that we have that um, if we were to check now in our view let's come to UV and just click on checker you'll notice that well our UVing is not that bad a few places where they're stretching and all that but for now I'll just leave it as is uh, then all I need to do is just collapse it all into an editable poly so now I can throw in my smooth modifier uh, Permit uh, the subdivision surfaces, mesh smooth. Uh, I'll put around three now. Now we are having that. So, with that, we are actually ready to take this whole thing to Madbox and start sculpting. But before we sculpt, I need to get some of these maps that I already have in here out. So, I need to get these maps out already. I need to come in here and this gray color, let me just turn it into tarmac. Turn it to tarmac. So I'll just come in and get the gray color over here. And with this gray color here, let me just give it a tarmac map. Bit maps, let me find this one here. And I'm going to actually come in and uh, put it in here. And there. Show material, and you notice, yeah, it's tarmac is all over, but uh, the tiling is very, very bad. So I'm going to tile this. I'm going to tile my tarmac uh, several times. I'll give it a high number, on 20 by 20. And you'll notice it's not so bad, really, especially on the road is what. Is where I'm interested in. So maybe let's say 30. 30 by 30. And uh, yeah, I think that's okay. That's okay for now. That is quite fine. Now, what I need to do is I need to bake out this map so that I'll use it as one of the diffuse layers in map box. So um the whole thing smoothed just leave it smoothed 
I'll come in and say render and uh, render to texture yeah? and then with the render to texture over here uh, I have to make sure that let me see whether my entire object uh, let me leave it there it is so I'll need to add uh, this this line one actually this is the line and uh, then we use existing channel existing mapping channel the existing UV the one we've just created um, then I come here and add the elements I need I just need uh, the diffuse map only just add that diffuse map and then um, here I could name the file uh, I think I'll just come in here and just name this I'll call it tarmac uh, let me just call it tarmac tarmac.jpg for our environment then the size I'll use 1024 and uh, I just want to render only, uh, just render on this one. I just hit render it. And I think I had another one created. Oh, I don't want to overwrite what we have. I think I've just done it. So now this is what we are having and I could come in and uh, save it. Uh, I think I've overwritten my tarmac already. Uh, which is fine let me leave it the way it is I can always get it back again so tarmac and if we preview it should we preview you notice it doesn't have shadows or anything it's just the diffuse just the diffuse map unlike what you're seeing here it's just going to give you the uh, just the diffuse so next I need to bake another map so this one I leave it as is uh, just as is um, come to these while it's heavily tiled let me clear the view first uh, and just put another map uh, another material first standard map and this standard map we just come and assign it to that then uh, give it a picture uh, or just an image and I want some soil for that one and uh, I put it on the diffuse and ambient and uh, we showcase it in the view then we tile these also so so I'm going to tile these again maybe 20 by 20 so that when I check on the soil right there it should look okay uh, I'm having some stretching here and there but should look okay I think I'll say 30 by 30 like right, that then bake these out as soil just bake it out and I'll be using these maps in Mudbox so I'm just preparing them for Mudbox so uh, again render uh, render to texture still have that that one diffuse yes and I need to rename this now. Okay. So I need to rename this. Right there. And call it soil. Right there. And uh, soil. Let me just call it soil T. Just so that I don't overwrite anything. And I render that out. Again, it gives you this. And uh, should I come here and look at what I have? I have that a soil T. Review it. Yep, that's okay. Tiling is fine. Then uh, I need something more. Uh, how's about a few rocks? So I come in to this picture and I can actually change it to something else. Um, some grass first. So let me try some grass. Yes. And uh, let me see the tiling, whether the tiling is working. And uh, I think it's not so bad. Yeah, I can see a lot of patterns. I don't think this grass of mine is seamless. I don't think it's a seamless texture. But I'll use it anyway. 
though it may not be a seamless texture let me just use it so come in here and just rename this as grass uh, let me just delete grass t Ah, then uh, just save that or uh, render that all right there you are. And i'm sure it's there grass t so lt and tarmac that's okay then uh, some rock would be fine go back to perspective yeah. Alright, so I come back to my maps and change this to the rocks now. So we have grass, we have uh, subsoil, we have a tarmac, and we have a rock. And the rock, I don't think I need to tile it too much. I just want to leave it as huge chunks. Maybe 10 by 10. Yeah, we just need really huge chunks of rock. Why not? Uh, let me try five by five and see. Yep, so I think that for a rock would be quite okay. Would be quite fine. So again, I bake these out as rock. Come here and call this one rock. rock t and render it out there we are. so now i think we have all that we need we have grass rock soil and tarmac so that's fine that's okay close that i'll close this then the next thing i need to do is export this into my box and i'll put a smooth level of around one uh, i'll leave it at one one is not bad value and uh, let me save these first uh, save as terrain to then come collapse the whole thing all right and then now just export it um, file export selected uh, then I'm going to export it as an OBJ OBJ uh, yeah and uh, I'll call it terrain and save that and I'll save it as a mud box preset uh, mud box and uh, just click on polygons and I just export and, uh, it's done so next we just need to go to mud box open it up and uh, do a bit of sculpting and uh, texturing. 